Oh, welcome back to Spent Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel, to all my crew members, all my returning crew members, all that good stuff. If you are here new to the channel, welcome to Spent Too Much Diecast where we do all different types of die cast unboxings, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Jada, Fast and Furious, Fan Home, all that good stuff. All right, so I just found this the other day at Target. I was super stoked to see it. They actually had two of them there. Um, I've been putting it off. I didn't really wanna buy it online. I was hoping I would be able to find it in stores and Target was the, was the store that I found it. So that is pretty cool. Like I said, they did have two of them. So you should be able to start finding these in stores now. But we're gonna be opening up the Wednesday, the Volkswagen Beetle, and then it's Wednesday Adam and The Thing, which is pretty cool because he is propped up on the back bumper. So this is pretty cool. I did watch the series on Netflix. Um, I did think it was really good. I do like the original Adams families and stuff like that. So I am excited to open this up and see what it's all about. Love the Volkswagen. Hopefully this looks pretty cool. We do have the Wednesday on the side. And then again on the back, we do have a picture of the car and the figure. And this is put out by Jada Toys, part of the Hollywood Ride series. This is a scale 124th. And of course, this one is new here for this year. And it's pretty cool. It does have like the house in the background, which looks awesome. So let's go ahead, get this thing unboxed and take a closer look at it. Alrighty crew, and we are back. So we got everything unboxed here. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at it. But before we get started, I just do wanna say again, thank you to all my crew members out there. Everybody who likes, shares, comments, subscribes, watches, all that good stuff. I do appreciate everybody who is a crew member on this channel. We are growing this channel more and more every day and it's because of you guys, the crew members, to everybody that is the OG fans, to everybody that is new. I do appreciate everybody. Um, if you are new here to the channel and you are not a crew member yet, take two seconds, go down below, hit the subscribe button, join the crew, then there's the bell notification, give this video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Then also down in the description and every single one of my videos is all of our social media links, our sales page, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. So definitely check out some of those links um, if you wanna see some of our other social media as well. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get this started. There is a lot of stuff going on here. I did cut out the back of the box, which is the house, which I thought is pretty cool. Maybe I'll get some pictures with it. So we do have the diecast vehicle, the diecast figure, and then yes, we even have um, what is it? The thing, which is pretty cool. It's just plastic, but we'll go ahead and take a look at everything right away. I guess we'll start it off with the thing or thing, which is pretty cool. It is just his hand, just like from the movies. It is just a piece of plastic. It um, It's like a rubbery type of plastic because you can kind of move the hands. But other than that, it's a solid piece. Um, it's pretty light, pretty small. So that is pretty cool. So It'll be nice to actually use this to take some pictures. Um, it holding onto the back bumper. I'm sure I can even have it on her shoulder and all that kind of good stuff. So we're definitely gonna have some cool pictures that will be put up on our Facebook page. So let's go ahead and take a close look at Wednesday. The figure sits about two inches tall. It does stand, it's not that stable. I mean, if you stand it on a hard surface, it'll be fine. It does come with this base that is attached to on the box. So if you really want to save the base, you can always re-screw um, it into it. And then you have kind of a bigger base for her to stand. Otherwise, like I said, if you have a nice hard surface, it stands really good. So again, this is all solid die cast. Um, the feet are all die cast. The body is die cast. Um, it looks like her hair is plastic which is pretty cool. Um, I think, I believe her arms are like the rubbery style as well. You can kind of see they like attach it in there and probably her head as well. 
but overall she has painted pretty good for Wednesday um, can you even kind of see you can move her hair a little bit and it does even have like the um, logo for the school and all that pretty nice black and white striped so I love when they put characters with the car so that is that no item number on this her dress is hollow so you can see her legs go all the way up to about the base of her dress but the dress is die cast you can't push it down or anything like that all right so she did not have an item number i know the vehicle should have an item number um we will do an item number on the box the box is 35131 so usually the box has an item number the character sometimes does and then the vehicle so this vehicle is saying 35244 scale 124th again it is the 1959 volkswagen beetle not a new casting we have seen the beetle a lot of other times um i think i just did a transformer one of it we do see the beetle with the charlie figure um so the beetle is not a new casting but it is cool that they have it with this one i'm not sure if the beetle was actually in the movie but they decided to go with the beetle on this um casting so take a look at it. Of course, your base is plastic. Bumper is plastic that's uh, chrome. You have some chrome accents here, clear headlights, which is pretty cool. These wheels are nice, they're in silver. You do have the brakes and calipers back there. Um, I think this is the first style seeing these type of wheels. So it kind of gives it like a, uh, almost like a spider web kind of look to it, but not quite but I think it does fit the vehicle pretty good. You have the chrome around the windshield. It's the hard style rubber for the side mirror. You do get a little bit of plastic for the glass and the windows back here. Take a look at the inside. All right, so we do have chrome pedals, chrome steering wheel, chrome shift knob. We do have the gauges back there. Otherwise, everything else is just black plastic. Uh, you could probably even, if you could get it pretty good or use like um, the modeling clay, you could probably get him to even attach to the steering wheel. We'll have to try that out. All right, going along to the back, we have the plastic bumper again. The exhaust is done in chrome, chrome exhaust, chrome um, rear taillights, license plate. They are doing the Jada Toys Hollywood Rides. We'll take a look at the motor here in a minute. We'll do the passenger side first. There is that. So then under the bonnet, which does open, um, we have the chrome. I think that's the, that's either like the fuel cell or a fuel tank, or it might even be the radiator. I'm not 100% sure what they are on the Beetle because it looks like there is a cap there. So that might even be the radiator. And then going along to the back, and this one actually, I think opens a little wider than the other ones, but I could be wrong. There is your motor, it is all chrome. We do have one little piece of black here. Well, that's a little loose, but there is your motor for the back. So overall, pretty, pretty cool casting. So there is the unboxing, nice, short, and sweet. Again, this is the Wednesday thing and the Volkswagen Beetle. Put out by Jada Toys, scale 124th, part of their Hollywood Ride series. New to market, should be hitting shelves. I do know they are available online, but I did find mine at Target. So there we go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this night. nice, quick unboxing. Again, we do put out a lot of boxings here on the channel. We got a lot coming up. So make sure if you guys haven't, like I said, hit the subscribe button, join the crew, bell notification, and give this video a thumbs up. But there it is. Until next time, hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing, and we'll see everybody on the next one. Bye.